Come back. Welcome back. This is further solutions academy. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just press the subscribe button. Presently, we have over 300 videos on our channel. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. If you want to reach us, maybe you want our online class, you want to book for online class, or you need any help from us, you need a video, you can also, you can reach us with this line. Now, with this line, you can do three things with it. You can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and Telegram is allowed. Okay, now in this video, I'll be working you on um, joint variation. When you hear what joint variation, this time around, it's different from inverse and also different from uh, direct variation. Please, we have done two videos earlier. You can make sure you view on those, you be on those two videos for better explanation of variation. Now, when we talk about variation, uh, joint variation, we'll be talking about something like this. This inform involve in this involve of variation form of variation involves three or more variables the three or more three variables that is what um that is joint variation is it means we are more than we have more than two Variable it can it may be three and above. Three and above is what we are going to be working on. Now it means something like this. We surely come up k can to this to m and um, also k can be to what to p. It means implication k to what m p. It means it's directly proportional to m, also directly proportional to what to p. But if this, the story change and you have something like this, you have something like this, K, right, to portion of what? To P or to Q, and also K, right, proportional to what? One all over uh, uh, X. It means by implication, K, and let me not use Q, let me use um, uh, Y or V, let me use V, sorry. We are always constant, we don't use k as constant. It means is now it means what is here is that v is directly proportional to q and inverse to what inverse proportional in varies inverse varies to what to y. That is the implication. That is the what implication. Please take note of this. Is very important. I've told you that earlier that this is what our what our variation um, symbol, which I told you that it means um, it means um, relationship or proportion. Anyhow, I mean uh, yeah, anyhow you call it anyway. Now let me try to explain by examples, which maybe you will understand better. But notice that note that. It involves more than two variables. It involves more than two variables. For instance, given that, given, I would like to use black, given that P varies jointly as, as, as X and v squared and v squared and the p is 18 when s is 9 when x is 9 v is 15 find v when s is 81 and P is um, P is thirty two. P is thirty two. Now we are to work on this particular question. 
given that P varies jointly as X and Q and V squared. Okay. And P is 18 when S is this, V is this. Find V when S is 81 and P is 32. P is what? 32. Now, how can I solve this particular problem? Solution to this problem. Solution. Now, solution. What I want you to know here is that this is a joint variation, which you have to understand a word by varies jointly. Now, it means I will be having a P, 2S, and V squared. That is the implication. Now, at this point, I can ask that what? P equals to K S V squared. Where K is, the, is called constant. K is called constant. Now, since K is called constant, now, what I will now do is that uh, my K will be equals to P divided by X V squared. We all know that this is my P, this is my X, and this is my what? V. It means my K will be equal to what is my P? My P. My P is, okay, my P. What is my P? My P is, um, okay, from the question, my P is, is 2. Is it 2? Okay, now, my P, my P is 18. My S is 9 and my V is 15. Please take note of that. That is very important. Now, since I have that, it means I'll be having 18 divided by what is my X is 9 multiplied by 15 squared. This year 1, this year 2. Now, my K equals to 2 all over 15 squared. 15 squared also implies 2 all over 2, 2, 5. That is my K. That is my um, K. It means the relationship combining them together, it means the relationship will now be what? It will be P equals to K S V squared. It means P equals to 2 S V squared divided by 2, 2, 5. That is their relationship. Now, I'm now asked to find V when S equals to 81. P equals to now it means at this point I will make V the subject. I will make V the subject. It means I will be having V squared equals to um, P multiplied by 225 divided by 2x. Because we have 2x. This is x to not 5. Sorry. This is 2x. Now, which what is my P and my head? My P. My x is 81, my p is 32. It means v squared equals to 32 multiplied by 225 divided by um, divided by 2 multiplied by um, 2 multiplied by my s is 81. Now, this year one, year 16. Now, v squared equals to 16 multiplied by 225 divided by 81. Now, I will square root the both sides. V equals to root of 16 multiplied by 225 divided by what? 81. It means V equals to 4 multiplied by 15 divided by 9. Yes, yes, yes. Now, which it means um, 3 here is what? 3. 3 here is 5. Which is, I'll be having 12. Which is my V. My V I need to write here my V equals to um, 12 all over 3. 12. Is it 12? 3, yes, yes. I mean, 20 all over 3. Sorry for that. 20 all over 3. 20 divided by 3. Now, since I know which I'll be having, if I divide that number together, my V will be equals to, V will be equals to 6.66, uh, C67 approximately 7. That is my V value of V. That's my V. Now, before I hand this part, let me put, let me try to put one more example. Let me try to add more 
one more example to hit so that for better understanding. Okay. Uh, if let me use back marker. If D varies directly as X and inversely inversely as the square of T. And when D equals to six, S equals to 24, T equals to five. T equals to five. Find X when T is 12. And D is 0 0.4. Solution to this problem. Now, this is a very nice question that um, is also straightforward. Now, what I need to know here is that there is problem. D varies directly. And, I mean, as X. And inversely as the words square of T. Now, the story I've changed. It means D to what? To X. That is the first statement. And, and, um, and D inversely as square square of what? Square of T. That is just the implication. It means by so doing that, I can say that my D equals to, I mean, my D varies to X dot 1 all over t squared. It means my d can be equals to k x all over t squared. k is my constant. k is my constant. Since my k is my constant, I can now say that, um, okay, by so doing that, I can now find the relationship. It means I want to find my k. My k will be equals to dt squared divided by x this t squared divided by x now since i have my k will now be equals what is my d my d is six multiplied by um my five squared i have to use the other part of the function now it means my k equals to um my k equals to d multiplied by d is six multiplied by t squared which is five squared Divided by what is my x? S, x, 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 x is 24. Now my k equals to 25 days. Year one, year is four. Year is four, which is going to be 25 all over four. Now I can now say that by solving that my d equals to k x all over t squared. Now, it means my d equals to, I have 25 s divided by 4 t squared. That is the relationship. Now, that is the relationship. This is the relationship. Relationship. Now, that is the relationship. Now, since I know that relationship, I will now move on to the next one. Find s when t equals to 12 and d equals to 0 0.4. It means I'll be having um, 0 0.4 equals to 25 um, divided by 4 multiplied by, just be able to have a very good value, which I'll be having x divided by, by um, 0, that will be 12 squared. 12 squared. Now, by so doing that, this can also be easily converted to, you know, is a, um, okay, this is a form of, um, I can turn it to, um, okay, I can turn it to 8 over 5. 8 over 5 is something as 4.5. Yes, 8 over 5. 
Oh, sorry. I can turn this one 0 0.42, 4 all over 10, which is going to be 2 all over 5, which is 2 all over 5, um, multiplied by, I will, <laughs> it means multiplied by 4, multiplied by 44, 12 times 12, divided by equals to x equals to x now what am i doing here it means i'm just like turning it over i'm turning it over which i'll be having uh, uh okay now by so doing that i'll be having yes 12.4 and that since i have that i can now say that um what else can i do to make this uh, very fine okay now Okay, before, for those that are still struggling to solve, let me not make things to be very hard for ourselves. Now, what I would just need to do is that um, 0 0.4 equals to, um, equals to, um, 0 0.4 equals to 25, all over 4, multiplied by x divided by t squared. Now, we know that d is this, I mean, t is 12 squared, and what else can we move on to? I can say that what? 25x equals to 0 0.4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 12 squared. Now, which is my x equals to what? 0 0.4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 12 squared divided by 25. Now, which I will have it in form of... Um, now, which this... I can be able to say that uh, multiply them, which will be um, normally this one will be what? It will be um, 8, 8 multiplied by 144 divided by, divided by, um, divided by 5, divided by 5 times 5. Now, 5 times 25. Now, by so doing that, I can now continue by having x. Let me use my red marker, which is to understand my x. My s will now be equals to uh, my s will now be equals to one one five two divided by one two five. That is my final answer. I will be stopping here because of time. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Further. Further Solutions Academy. I encourage us more to share our video and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just subscribe on it. Once, thanks for watching.